hope you're doing well. Um, not a very nice day today. I don't know what it's like for everybody else, but it is cold and pouring with rain here. So, <laughs> yay. But anyway, um, quick video. I've not done a lot this week. Uh, well, since Sunday. Um, I've done some more hearts. Not very many. But I'm really pleased with these ones. I haven't sewn the ends into anything. But I thought they're quite cute, so I thought I'd show you those. It is the exact same pattern that I linked for the last lot, the granny square heart. Um, but I thought, yeah, I thought in red, white and blue they're quite sweet. So I've made two of those and then I've made some in just some more of the riot. Yeah, and just some pink that I had lying around and I have no idea what it was because there was no ball band on it. But yes, yeah, so I'm happy with those. Um... I have made the feet for that dragon, the Sharon Oyala pattern, I think. so I've done the little feet, I um, haven't done anything else, but I've done the feet, <laughs> so it's now got a body, a head, a tail and two feet, so I've just got everything else to do. Um, and then I was having a little look on YouTube just to find like small little projects to do because as you know I can't stick to one thing and I have to do like seven things at the same time. The blue here is the um call the midwife blanket <laughs> that I'm still working on which I have done a couple of rows of I just it's not worth showing because it's just the same repeat isn't it. Um so yeah so I was having a little look on YouTube and I clicked on Jada and Stitches because she has some fantastic tutorials. I love her tutorials, they are so, so clear. But anyway, she had a new tutorial for Chubby Tubby Owls. I think that's right, I'll link it below. So I made twins. <laughs> They're really cute. They're really, really, really cute. I really like them. But from that, when I was making them, I got inspired and made this. It's um, a Disney Mouse, shall we say? I don't want to get in trouble. But um, it's cute. I really like it. It kind of reminds me of a little Zoom Zoom, but it's different because it's obviously, if I put it in front of me, you can see it's not what it is. Um, it's obviously, the idea is that it would, ah, would stand up. <laughs> so yeah, I'm really pleased with that. Um, I also made a little narwhal, because she had a little narwhal pattern. Um, the only issue with this little guy was she was using a much bigger hook than I was. Um, and I wanted it to be teeny tiny, so I think I used 3mm hook. Yeah, it would have been a 3mm hook, because everybody knows that's, that's my favourite hook. But that, the horn, couldn't do it, because you start with a magic circle with three. And I just could not, for the life of me, get... I hook into that third stitch excuse me so I did it upside down so I did it from the base upwards instead so I started with I guess I started with six or nine I can't remember and then decreased it up and did it that way and it worked out fine so yeah really really pleased with that little guy and then the last thing I made I am absolutely in love with and I cannot wait to make some more in different colours <laughs> Sean you'll appreciate this I'm sure um colour choice <laughs> I did a little penguin isn't it cute so 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 cute I will link the channel for this below it was a crochet along and again the instructions are just perfect why I mentioned Sean it's black isn't it <laughs> bad bad decision well I mean bad and good because of the crochet it's a cute one he looks like the little android penguin tux I think if he was a little bit taller and a little bit skinnier with him and he had a bow tie I think he'd look just like Tux but I'm really really pleased with him so I want to do oh chuck it over there I want to do um another one in like baby blue and in pink in fact this pink I think is the colour that I'm gonna do another one in because I loved it but trying to do its little flippers wasn't quite so easy in the black so yeah, definitely, definitely going to do a couple more of those because it was really, really fun to make. And he's just, I can't stop looking at him. He's just so cute. And he stands up. I love things that stand up. And then the last thing I have to show you is a tiny bit of progress on my daughter's cardigan. 
I've had to start labelling what size hook I'm using because I'm doing too many things at once and I only have one hook of certain sizes. Apparently I have two 4.5s and two 5s, but all the smaller ones I've only got one of. Actually, I have two 3mm hooks, but I don't know what I've... Oh, it's there. <laughs> That's like, I don't know what I've done with it, but it's over there. If I'm speaking really fast, it's because I'm trying to get this video done quickly because I've got to go and pick up my son. But yeah, so that's the cardigan, and I'll show you what it's actually going to look like, because I don't think I showed you um, in the last video. I asked her which one she wanted, so she had a choice of this one or this one, and she's chosen this one. She liked the short sleeve. So that is King Cole 4427, and it is very nice so far, although all I'm doing is back and front, and I've already <laughs> messed up the stitch count and had to fix it. But never mind, I have corrected it and it's not too long that it looks all, I don't think, you tell me, I think it looks okay so far. I'm worried about the edge but I'm hoping that you won't, I don't think it will hurt me. I haven't made a cardigan for a very long time and I think the last one I made was off the top of my head. So, but yeah, so that is that and then um, I meant to show it last time, the frog came from this pattern, so that's DC Crochet, does it have any? It says mini creatures at the bottom. So there they all are at the top. And I don't know if that is the pattern code or not. I'm not very good with patterns because I don't tend to buy them. I tend to just YouTube it or Ravelry it. So I'm assuming that that's it. But it's, that was, like I said, that was easy. And I think I want to make this little sheet next. So yeah, I'm just flitting about as I do doing hearts in between other things as you can see from the mess that is my workspace <laughs> taking over the living room but yeah so that's everything that I have to show you and to talk about um thank you Juliet for mentioning a heart for all Plymouth in your video that is pink butterfly I shall link her channel below she is lovely and she makes some absolutely amazing creations. In fact, it was one of her hearts that inspired me to go red, white and blue with my granny hearts. So yeah, um, do I have anything else to say? Um, if you didn't watch my last video, there'll be no video this Sunday because it's my birthday and I, I'm going out. <laughs> I'm going to enjoy my weekend. So yeah, um, and I will see you next Wednesday. So have a great week and weekend, everybody, and I'll see you next time. So.